Hey everyone, today is the 27th of September at around 7.45 or something a.m. in the morning because I woke up pretty early today and got ready and everything because I do have a workshop at 9 a.m. which is the PLP, um, the first ever PLP workshop that I'm ever going to have. And I did the prayer but I'm not really sure if everything is correct or not because I'm really quite unsure about my answers all the time because I feel like everything is wrong. and. Um, I think that's completely normal and <clears throat> honestly that's what keeps me going and trying to improve myself every single time with my answers and everything like that so yeah um, but also at the same time maybe afterwards I'm gonna go to the British Library and study there for the whole entire day because last week I went and it was uh, so effing productive and um, I was um, and I'm really looking forward to it honestly and at the same time I'm not really sure what to eat for lunch I might eat something from the British Library itself and my budget is going to be £10 and I really really hope um, that actually happens and stuff so um, but I cannot really compromise on my chai latte I can't do that so I'm not really gonna have to get it up before the workshop it actually happens and also in the morning I actually um, you know uploaded my video the youtube video of last week's vlog and it was supposed to be yesterday but it was taking so long for me to upload so i couldn't really do it yesterday at 8 p.m so i'm gonna do it instead today at 8 a.m so that everyone can watch it, everyone can see it and yeah and i'm really excited to see how this day unfolds <laughs> everyone today is a tuesday of the 28th of september i believe and today i do have a blp session which is my first ever workshop for the blp business law at 10 30 till 12 o'clock i believe and then i have at 1 30 to 3 o'clock i have my first ever litigation workshop and i'm really excited for both of them however i'm quite equally nervous because i'm not really prepared for any of those both of them because i'm really trying to catch up and go through my notes since day one or the week one of my LPC and try to really organize them in a such a manner that I can actually access them very very easily during my exam session or the exam time um which is really really hard to find because you have to combine all the textbook the large group the workshop the skill session everything together in one piece of work and that is extremely hard and i believe that the lpc really does assess whether you're really good at organizing your notes more than knowing the content which is very very important of course i think most importantly the organization matters more than the actual content itself because the content you can actually learn and you can have it with you in the exam but if you can't find it properly during the exam session that's when it becomes really difficult for you to really pass the LPC so I'm really trying to do that and really try to organize everything in general but other than that I'm just gonna now walk towards my local um, train station and then I'm just gonna basically go ahead and go to the library and do whatever prep I can do for the BLP and possibly the litigation civil litigation and I'll see you guys there <laughs> So it's currently about 1.21 p.m. of the same day and I just finished about an hour and a half ago my business law lecture, not lecture, but workshop and it was quite difficult but it was also not like so hard that I could understand anything what was going on but definitely I have to do my consolidation to make sure that 
my learning is put and I also then had my German donut kebab and also a little cupcake from Starbucks and I really liked that and I had that and now I'm feeling quite full so now I have my lesson starting at 1.30 for um, litigation, civil litigation yeah from 1.30 to 3 p.m and afterwards I will see you guys then Hey everyone, today is the Wednesday of the 29th, I believe of September 2021 and I'm just gonna straight up say that today I'm gonna go to British Library and do my work there and I'm gonna try to do as much as I can. I've not exactly planned what modules I want to do and all those kind of things and how am I gonna do it but I just want to go there, sit there because last week on wednesdays i remember i was very very productive and it was unbelievable how productive i was so i'm gonna go there today as well and one of the things that is bothering me at, um currently is the fact that first of all my oyster card has not really come yet the 18 plus one so most of the time i have to really spend a lot of money on oyster which is really bothering me and when it comes to food it has definitely reduced i don't buy as much as i used to do in the last two weeks and another thing that is really bothering me is the fact that I feel like I'm so behind in everything and the struggle of putting up all of the notes in an organized manner is so, so painful and so stressful because you need to pick up everything from your lectures, from your workshops, from the textbook and put it in a one place so that it's easy for you to really look at in the exams and that is really, really stressful. And I'm really struggling with that, but I'm trying to see what I can do with it because I also want to start practicing like past papers for the exams that are going to be coming up in February. And that's really difficult to do if you're not practicing from beforehand, especially for someone like me who has to review the work a lot of times to make sure that I really understand it. I'm really mastering it and I know what I'm doing, basically. But obviously that's not going to be possible if I'm just writing notes and organizing them only. So I, would, I really have to start practicing it. But other than that, uh, yesterday I was feeling quite productive. After six, I was feeling so sleepy, but I had to really do the work and I managed to do the PCR for large group one. And also I had the BLP, which was quite confusing. I'm not going to lie, but people say they found it really easy. So I'm really confused um and plp was fine but in wednesday i have three sessions no not no wednesday but friday i have three sessions coming up um i think it's litigation solicitors accounts and blp as well so i have to really also do prep for that so yeah so i'm feeling quite overwhelmed quite sleepy quite nervous quite tired of everything but i know this is only gonna last till february because after that it's term two and it's gonna be much easier and much calmer i believe so yeah, hopefully I'll get through it and let's go to the British Library now.
guys so I just basically got off from the bus and got some wings for myself and my sister so that we can have it in lunchtime and have it with whatever food my mom made and yeah so I'm really excited to go home and do that other than that I'll tell you guys later on what I'm exactly doing during the afternoon and in the evening tonight but yeah let's get home now Hey everyone, today is the Thursday of the 30th of September 2021 and I decided today to stay at home because I don't really have any lectures or workshops today and also most importantly I feel like the weather is getting so bad outside that I feel extremely cold in the library and also I don't want to wear too many layers so that really puts me in a situation where I really want to stay at home, get the heating of the home and then study as well. So I really decided to stay at home today and do my work and and no I never wear my hijab at home I'm just wearing it because I have to film this video <laughs> and I'm not wearing absolutely zero makeup um, which clearly shows that my skincare is not working the best but um, I've been really lacking back on my skincare and I'm really trying to work on it but the thing is whenever you go to university you don't really really get to eat good food or good nutritious food or even drink water because usually when I'm at home I drink about two to three liters of water and I see the next day that my skin has drastically improved because I've drank so much water so it's very important that if you're going through skincare issues or skin issues like myself then please do drink water i think that's a really good way to get rid of your spots and acne and i'm not sure about dark spots but i'm sure they do as well and i've actually <clears throat> i've actually have written down what i want to say so if i look on that side it's because i'm looking there but today i'm going to be basically um studying bop and the lit or civil litigation which I probably think so far are the most difficult ones that I'm going through because there's so much to in terms of application wise because the last workshop that I had I was so confused for both of them because I was not knowing what was going on um, I think partly because or most of it because I didn't do the prep which is a very big mistake so if you are going through LPC with LLM make sure that you do the prep no matter how much you can do just do it and you will see there's a huge difference in terms of that and yeah also um because of all the work that has been going on i have never experienced this kind of stress level ever before in terms of um because the lpc has so many modules and so many different modules all together and each of the modules requires to do for you to do a new something new so it's very very important that it feels like i'm almost going back to my gcc's where i had 10 subjects and those 10 subjects were completely different from all the other 10 subjects so each of them were different for its own purposes basically so i'm going through that phase basically which i experienced about six seven years ago i'm not really sure anymore and uh, <clears throat> yeah that's basically how i'm feeling i'm feeling like i'm back to gccs again where there's too many topics basically and also today actually my books have arrived from the for the lpc with llm in the version of 2021 to 2022 so i'm going to share them with you guys all just now so here are the books and i have not really opened anything at all and as you can see everything is basically all receipts and stuff so I'm not sure how much is each book but if you see they're all here i believe the business law civil litigation legal foundations whatever whatever so first of all we have the business and company legislation which is the one that i'm struggling with and i have to really start also marking my statute books as well with all the relevant statutes that i need for the exam so the second one that comes out is civil litigation which i'm also struggling with right now unfortunately unlike others in my class <laughs> then i have property law and practice that is really really nice i'm really enjoying property law this year um i thought i was never gonna say that but i am but the next one is criminal litigation which is amazing and lastly 
I have legal foundation. So these are all core books or core module books, as you can see. And I'm going to lay them down now on my carpet so you can see it better. So here are all the books. So we have legal foundations, which I believe is for all the skills, for example, PLR, drafting, um, PCR even, uh, which is the... Uh, no, I don't think it's a PCR, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, so then we have the property law and practice. Then we have civil litigation and then we have criminal litigation right there. So these are all the books that I have received for my LPC with LLM at City. So I'm now going to take a picture of it just a second. So those are all the books that I wanted to share with you all that I actually received or delivered yesterday at home. I must say that the delivery has been quite a bit late because this is the third week of the LPC with LLM and usually we should be receiving our books as quickly as we can. But I understand that there are so many people, so many students out there who need these books as well. So they had to really work their um work really hard to get those books to be delivered for each of the students but that's absolutely fine now and now i'm going to be showing you guys what i'm eating for my breakfast which is not really the best thing in the world but i just wanted to share with them with you all again so since i'm staying at home obviously i'm gonna have whatever is at home so first of all i have my green tea which is something that i cannot live without i cannot stress enough how much i love green tea it's not because of weight loss it's just because i just love the way it tastes i remember the first time i actually tasted green tea it was so bad and i didn't really like it but now i just love it and i have like two to three two to three mugs of this every single day then i have my plastic bottle with two liters of water there and this really motivates me to keep myself hydrated which is why i keep it in my desk every single day um whenever i'm in of course at home and then i have some belvita which is advertised to be a really good breakfast option so i'm gonna have that too and also some bananas as well because my mom forces me to eat those but i also actually genuinely love eating those as well and the last thing that i wanted to say before i take off this hijab at home is that i've been really obsessed for my whole entire i would say two or three years of my life in the past two or three years of my life about personal development videos because personal development videos are so good on youtube and if there's any specific area that you're struggling with in your life that might not be academic for example let's say relationships love uh, personal growth or procrastination motivation whatever that might be i believe there is a highly qualified coach out there on youtube that is making free videos for you to watch and you can watch those on an every single daily basis and that's what i actually do whenever i feel like i need some kind of kick motivation and improve a certain part of my life i just go to youtube search a qualified you know coach who might be doing free videos and i just basically watch their videos and that's how i basically improve myself every single day despite doing a very hectic degree or a postgraduate degree like lpc with llm so yeah i believe that you should be improving yourself every single day to the point that you feel good about yourself and you're not doing this to prove yourself to anyone but you're just doing it for yourself to be the best version of yourself living in this world so now I'm going to honestly just finish my morning routine, which um, is very, very quick, but it keeps changing every day what I do in the order that I do things. But yeah, I'm just going to finish my morning routine and then I'm going to start working on my BLP. See you then. And I wanted to show you guys just before you leave that these are the books that I have laid out in my bookshelf. And if you see just before those or the ones bottom of those are my LLB books. So I remember I did family, commercial, oh, so many memories are brought back instantly when I see those books. And I really didn't enjoy Total Law at all. <laughs> but I really loved family, commercial land law and all these kind of laws they were really really good and also i have law of international trade so you can see i've done a variety of different kinds of laws in my llb of my three years of my undergraduate but now i'm focusing on those five books so <sighs> let's get back to work <laughs> so as you can see other than what i have to do this week i have also have to catch up my last week and the the first week's work as well so i hopefully think i'm not behind and i'm not the only one who has to go really through this but i have not really managed to look at plr at all um, even though the task was of last week and also i did attend my 
workshops of this week so far but i have two actually three going on tomorrow and also yeah these are all the things that i have to do but i'm focusing now on bop right now because it's the early morning and i want to get rid of the most difficult ones first <laughs> Hey guys, so I just finished adding my LG One notes to my personal note taking and now I'm going to try and add my workshop notes from the first workshop that I had from Business Law and I'm going to go and try and add that to this only one document that I'm making for my exam because I realized that if I handwrite too much then I'm never going to be able to understand what I'm writing because my handwriting is so bad. But now I'm going to take a quick five minute break and then I'm going to come back to and add all my notes from workshop one to here. So now that I had my very long break actually for 20 minutes, I'm going to basically now add my workshop notes to my own consolidated notes of business law and we will see what it happens. Four stage test set out in section five of the partnership act. Does the third party. Hey guys, so I just wanted to mention that after my sister comes back from her college, I cannot really talk. So all the videos from now onwards will be silent. And yeah, so I just wanted to say that just before anyone thinks that will happen to my voice. <laughs> Hey everyone, today is the Friday of the 1st October 2021 and today I have three workshops which is quite ridiculous but I do but it starts at 9 a.m today so currently it is 7 55 a.m so i have a workshop at 9 a.m which is i believe solicitors accounts followed by that straight away it's i think a litigation civil litigation at 10 30 to 12 and then i have a break in between in between uh, i believe 12 to 1 30 because at 1 30 i have business law so i did have two workshops basically this week for business law as well as litigation but yes yeah, so basically that's all i have today and i don't really have done the prep for litigation at all which is a very big shame but i believe that i can recover it during the weekend and also blp i've been revising the whole day yesterday blp for the lecture one and two and that has been good as well but today is basically raining so badly let me show you guys so as you can see it's raining completely badly and i'm reconsidering whether i should be walking towards my local station as i always do or should i be taking the bus but honestly at this point it's almost 8 a.m and last time i was late actually to my plp class which was happening at 9 a.m on monday so i'm really thinking i should take the bus and just go with it and yeah basically so that will be my plan and yeah and i'm not feeling the best today i don't know why but i'm just not feeling my best and maybe because of the workload or maybe because my sleeping schedule keeps changing or is it because i'm not i feel like i'm not taking care of myself enough or is it because my budget is not going the way i want it to be i'm not really sure what it is but maybe it's everything all together but hopefully better days are coming i tell myself all the time and hopefully i will i will be fine i'm sure but now let's go to this solicitor's accounts workshop So I just had my solicitor's accounts from 9 to 10.30 and then I had just finished now litigation and I'm not gonna lie both of them are so bad <laughs> so bad um, I don't know what to do but today I'm really gonna reflect on how to really work this all out and how to really practice at home so that I can do it the best I can because honestly I feel like it's all about organization and that's when my content or my way I can do the work will be simplified better so I'm not gonna go now to veggie bread and get some mac and cheese and we will see you there mm -hmm. 